Hi everyone, so this is part two of my original Minnie Mouse tutorial on one loom. If you haven't watched part one already, there is a link in the description box below. And without further ado, let's continue our Minnie Mouse charm. So once again, we will be doing the same ear pattern, and the body is basically just mirrored, except the bands that go up and down on this far left side, we won't be putting those on. So basically during this part, we're just going to act like the ha other half of Minnie Mouse is not there. So just kind of leave it alone hanging from this pin. And I will be starting on the ear again using single bands for this part. Now double bands. And now we're going to add the cap band to the middle of Minnie Mouse's ear. So once again, you can wrap this around three or four times, but I will be wrapping mine around four times. And we are now ready to start the hooking process. So first I'm going to go inside the cap band and grab this band, and I won't be as detailed this time during the hooking process because I've already showed you all once. And now going clockwise. like that and now we will be doing the perimeter bands And now I'm done, so I'm going to leave this alone and start on the other half of Minnie Mouse's body. So I'm going to start somewhere below where Minnie Mouse is hanging from that spot. And basically we're going to be doing um, a mirrored version of what we did last time. Like this. So I'm going to start with the perimeter. Now we're going to do the zigzag bands, but remember we are not going to be putting any bands on these pins going vertically here. So skip that first band that we would put on. And once again, we're going to skip this bottom band here. So now line the perimeter of the inside. And skip this vertical band here. And just go diagonal. And diagonal to the bottom. And skip this band here. And we are now done. And we're going to transfer the other half of Minnie Mouse's body. So basically I'm just going to take my hook and go inside this pin with all the loose bands and transfer it like this. Now I'm going to reattach this end onto this top pin here. 
So I'm just going to stick my finger inside of all these bands and transfer them onto the pin. Like that. And now we have these bottom loops here and we're basically going to be connecting this whole side onto all these pins here. So I have these bottom loops here that we use double bands on and I'm going to connect these to the bottom pin right here. So the bottom loop here with double bands I'm just going to stick my hook inside and pull it carefully down to this bottom pin or this top pin now. like that and now we have this ginormous stretched out loop that I'm going to attach here and basically attach all the loops along the sides which is kind of hard but kind of just find a spot that has loops so I have this giant stretched out loop which I'm going to attach here kind of pull the design down so there's not that much tension find the cap band that we inserted in the middle and it's this little round one here and I'm just going to stick my hook inside all of those and attach it to the middle pin right here and now we're going to finally put our last set of bands over here and I have this kind of loop here this part is one of the hardest things to do but if you're unable to find the loops to attach, just choose random ones because we just want the two sides to be attached together. But those are the loops that I chose. And this time before we begin the hooking process, I'm just going to move my ear first so that way I don't have to stop in the middle of hooking. So I'm just going to de detach all the ends of the ears except for the top one because those are the loops that are holding everything together. And now I'm going to stick my hook inside to transfer it. And, and I'm going to transfer it to this pin right here. So I have the ear on my hook, kind of stretch it out, stick my finger inside, and transfer all these bands onto the pin here. like that but once again we don't want it to be really dangly and loose we're gonna attach some loops onto this pin so I'm going to go inside the loops that are to the left like this and I'm just going to put it on the this pin here like that and now we can begin the hooking process. So the hooking process is pretty much the same. I'm going to start on this band here and I'm going to go inside the cap band that we reattached on and grab this band. And next I'm going to grab this band here. And now I'm going to grab this bottom band here going inside here. And then do all the other perimeter bands that go around. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and do the zigzag bands.
And this next part's kind of hard because the bow's in the way, so kind of push it and pull out of the way. Like that. And then reach in and grab this band that goes diagonal. And now, lastly, we're going to do all these bands that go around the perimeter. So start at the bottom. And we are almost finished, we just have to do one last thing. So I'm going to be taking one clear band, you can also use a black or a red band or whatever color you'd like. This is just going to be the band that holds everything together. And I'm going to basically just go inside all these bands on my pin here and then grab this band here. And then putting it back on the pin so that way I have a little single chain that holds all the bands together and now I'm just going to take the bottom band and hook it up and over the pin like that give it a tug you can also do this or you can leave this band here like that and attach a c-clip on like that. And now you're ready to take this whole thing off the loom. So be very careful doing this part because you don't want all your hard work to go to waste just because you broke a band because you're trying to rip the whole thing off the loom. And that's pretty much it. So I really hope you guys like this design. I spent quite a few hours designing it to put it on one loom and I finally got it. And it looks pretty much exactly like the other design that uses two looms, which is great. And also this is an, a slightly more improved design because of the bow, as well as the double bands on this bottom part right here. So yeah. So please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and also follow me on Instagram. My username is down below in the description box and it is tutorials by A by the way. And also post any of your creations from my tutorials to the hashtag tutorials by A so I can go like your picture and comment on it. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this design and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!